For customer service, you probably offer two main channels. A website with self-help information you wish people would read, and a call center with agents fielding phone inquiries. Some of your customers go to your site just looking for your phone number. Some try your site's self-help, but end up needing to talk to someone anyway. In short, your call center is going to get the calls regardless. The question is, how efficient is the process before the agent gets on the line? Let's take a look at what this process looks like and why it's inefficient. This is Elliot. He's been a loyal customer for five years and wants to check on a charge from six months ago. He starts by navigating to the self-service section of your website. He spends time looking for this information, but only finds a record of last month's bill. Naturally, Elliot abandons his self-service transaction and decides to call. Now, of course, when he does call, the IVR knows nothing about his experience on your site a few minutes before. So, he starts by listening to an automated greeting, navigates through four levels of voice IVR, and selects the options he needs at the end of a long list. Voice IVR systems have a very limited ability to collect complex data, so once Elliot reaches an agent, he spends the next few minutes relaying his account number, his name, and perhaps a security code to the agent who waits to confirm all this data as it appears on his screen. Once all that's entered, Elliot re-explains his problem as the clock keeps ticking. Oh, and thank goodness he paid close attention during the voice IVR, back at the start, because if he had selected the wrong menu option from the IVR or from the contact page on the website, he'd have the wrong agent and need to be transferred to someone else to explain his entire request again. More time, more cost. But what if you could trim precious seconds, a lot of them, from the tedious, often redundant, data collection segment of each call? Well, you can with Jakarta Visual IVR. Remember that Elliot found your contact info on your website, using the browser on his PC, tablet, or smartphone, or even your mobile app. So that's the place where Jakarta Visual IVR lets him start the actual interaction. Elliot just clicks on his PC or on his phone and makes his way through the menu to the right department, just a few clicks away, entering all that data the agent might ask for, such as a complex account number. Since he's not constrained by a traditional phone, he can do this from just about any device, and he doesn't have to wait to hear endless menus or select the wrong menu option without the ability to easily go back. And just maybe, Elliot will resolve his issue on his own. But assuming he still needs to talk, he'll get a direct route to the right agent bypassing the voice IVR. All the information Elliot entered through Visual IVR is passed along with his call and appears in a rich screen pop so the agent doesn't have to waste time before getting to the solution. That's a minimum of 60 seconds saved on average handling time right there. IT will be delighted with how quickly Visual IVR can be up and running because it reuses their existing voice IVR scripts. And Visual IVR also has its own graphical designer in case you want to custom build new visual only workflows. In a nutshell, Jakarta's Visual IVR means lower inbound call volume, when self-service tackles common problems, more accurate routing for calls that do make it to the call center, and reduced average handling time by at least 60 seconds. Jakarta Visual IVR, because talk isn't cheap.